In honor of the changing seasons, I present to you a sonification battle between pumpkin spice latte and iced coffee. The graphs you see before you represent the frequency of Google searches for these seasonal beverages over the last five years. The iced coffee data is played by the piano, and pumpkin spice latte by the saxophone. Why did I do this? Well, first of all, data sonification is cool. It lets you experience time series in a different way than graphs do. Instead of seeing all moments at once, you inhabit each moment sequentially, living the data in real time. Also, I'm teaching a workshop on data sonification in Python on October 22nd, and I thought this would be a fun way to promote it. Click the link. Click it. So how did I make this? I made the sonification in Python using Scamp, my suite for computer-assisted music in Python, which I've been building for many years. I started by going to Google Trends, searching for pumpkin spice latte and iced coffee, selecting a five-year span of time, and then clicking the download button. This saved to my computer a CSV file, which is a specially formatted text file that looks like this. I used this Python code to scrape the data from the text file, and then used the SCAMP libraries to make a first prototype, which sounded like this. It basically fires a machine gun of notes as it goes through the data, with higher search frequency mapping to higher notes, and lower frequency mapping to lower notes. You can definitely hear the seasonal variation in the two beverages, but I wouldn't say that it sounded good. So for the second version, I decided to snap the piano notes to an octatonic scale, and the saxophone notes to a dominant seventh chord, which go together harmonically. That sounded like this. It's definitely better, but I had to do something about the machine gun. I needed to make some notes long and some notes short, in a way that reflected the data. Here's what I came up with. Keep a running tally of the area under the curve. When it crosses a certain threshold, in this case 0.4, play a note and reset the tally to zero. This way, when the search volume is low, fewer notes are played, and when the search volume is high, more notes are played. This final version had a kind of free jazz feel, with smooth accelerations and decelerations following the rising and falling search frequencies. I also used some higher quality virtual instruments. It wasn't perfect, but for a seasonal promotional video, it was definitely good enough. Can you think of another way to do this? A good step would be to sign up for my workshop on October 22nd. Did I mention that it's discounted until the 16th? Yes, if you're watching this after October 22nd, 2022, but you wish you could have attended the workshop, send me a message. I'm making a video recording. Ba -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da